case. Oh, I'll fall sick. You'll fall sick? Oh, my falso was stripping. That was... I left it open by accident. Oh. Share. Okay, we are officially live. Hello. Oh. Hello, world. Oh, no one's tuned in. Are we... Yet, but, yeah. Yeah, are we live and announced? Okay. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm not the most popular streamer, so it takes a while before people <laughs> come in. Hey, I'm, I'm, I mean, when even one person shows up, I'm already very pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Edwin uh, or Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, best friends. Yeah. Oh, oh my dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Our best friends. So Your dad. He, he sent, he emailed me like a whole bunch of emails about uh -huh. vaccinations. <laughs> he was asking me to discuss them. I'm oh, sure. okay. <laughs> we are very qualified to do so. Like, uh... Can we wait till an actual doctor is at least listening before we? Spelt off. <laughs> I mean, uh, you can, you I'm just share sharing the subject about your, the email about your, about the vaccine. You know. Well, but isn't that the cause of the the world's problems now? Like in terms of misinformation, it's like everyone thinks that they can just spout off information and share no, yeah, their opinions. No, but you're sharing your opinion, right? Like it's not like right. you're telling people like beware, uh, the vaccine will will cause this. You know. It's like you're sharing your yeah. experience. Right? Like when I went for it, I experienced this, you know, which is which is true, right? I mean, unless you made it up. Yeah, uh, but that is presuming that, you know, people are taught how to process information, to to like consider the source and like knows like you know arguments and logical fallacies and all those things that I don't think are true <laughs> in this day and age. <laughs> I mean, that's I why Joe know. Rogan, I mean, right? I mean, like, we all know Joe Rogan's an idiot. Yeah. And then, yet, we all get really upset when he shares his opinion. <laughs> I mean, of course, he's also very influential. Yeah. yeah, so I think when you're, like, so influential, you should... Uh, Be more careful? Yeah. Like, uh, Okay. I don't know, I also I was having fast. this discussion with Elvin today about... Uh, I'm not sure if you heard, like, uh, was it a couple of months ago, Demi Lovato made mm -hmm. like, a big deal about a Froyo shop? Did you hear about oh, that? Oh, yeah, I was thinking about more later news with Demi Didn't Lovato. Did we discuss this before, I think? We did. Sounds oh, familiar. Know, but, I mean, yeah, so anyway. I don't remember. You know, if, you're, if you're, like, someone so famous, then you shouldn't go around yeah. making such, you know, frivolous comments or offhand comments about these things. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because all you need is like a fraction of your followers to support your stance, you know. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, Demi Lovato has like, don't know how many millions of followers. So let's say even like 10% believe, you know, mm -hmm. it's like 100k, 200k people who are, might not support the business anymore. Just like mm -hmm. that. Well, I wonder what it's like to have such power. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do with such uh, power? Be responsible. Um, I don't know. Teach like, people to be less of an asshole. Dark today, huh? Yeah, it's dark. It was fine earlier. I don't know what you messed with. When did it get dark? After you did the switch just now. But yeah, so the sub, like one of the subjects was uh, J and J vaccine link, possibly linked to neurolo neurological condition in rare cases. And then FDA attaches warning of rare nerve syndrome to Johnson and Johnson COVID vaccine. And then yeah, another one about warning about J and J vaccine. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Blah, blah blah. Issues new warning. 
Yeah. Nice what the news says. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, hmm, yeah, Grand Barre syndrome. Yeah, my lab used to like sort of study that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you, you say even the Pfizer one had like some heart inflammation thing. I mean, I feel like the issue is that nothing there's there's nothing that would be perfect, right? There's no such thing as a as a Western drug where there's absolutely zero side effects at all. Are you saying the answer so is you in can't... Chinese medicine? Oh <laughs> No, <laughs> like if, if that were true, there wouldn't be a Sinovac, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> but I, I feel like that that's everything is a balance of like risk and, and, and benefits. And then like for most mm -hmm. people, like you would not have these problems. And it would be unfair for um, people to disclose. In fact, like the issue why the I think the, the reason why like you don't hear about these in Chinese medicine is because no one's tracking it, right? Like, there's no database of people who are on certain medicines who are reporting back all the side effects they experience. Whereas here, because it's an FDA-regulated, you know, situation, every single side effect has to be reported. Like, there's, like, a whole um, database that, you know, anyone, a doctor or even an individual can submit. Like, hey, I took this, like, drug, and hey, this happened to me. And do then, they, like, you know, uh, like... Do they verify that? Uh, so, like, uh, I think it's up to the um, pharmaceutical company to investigate this information. Like, you know, but, you know, so 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 I feel like at least, like, there is a system to track and, like, you cannot blame, like, you cannot make comparisons where it's like, oh, nothing ever happens in Chinese medicine because no one's tracking it. <laughs> I was joking, by the way. About Chinese oh, yeah, yeah, medicine. I figured. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I figured. <laughs> hmm. So, oh, to, also today's our episode 69, and it's, it's very funny to a lot of, like, Kids. people of the younger generation, <laughs> that number. I don't know why, it's, like, so funny to, to some people. I think it would have been funny for us, too, if we were younger. But, okay, here's the thing, I, I like, you know, 69, 420, whatever, like, yeah. it, it's, like, I'm, like, okay, yeah, I get why it's funny, but... Is it that funny? <laughs> <laughs> and also, how is it still funny? It was funny when we were kids. Yeah. Like, can't you guys come up with something new? Like, I think that, that bothers me more. I mean, people <laughs> rediscover old jokes every day. <sighs> <laughs> well, it's so old, isn't it? I guess, I don't know, maybe... Remember it... trying to do it in a calculator? Yeah. Oh, But I think... <laughs> Maybe, I don't think it was a joke around my parents' era. I don't know. I wouldn't know. Okay, yeah, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> George's dad is just like, let us know if 69 was super funny <laughs> back in your day. <laughs> yeah. To all the old people out there <sighs> listening. <laughs> yeah. So, but I know, I mean, because <sighs> a lot of uh, YouTubers like ran with that 69, 420 joke. So it became popular. Yeah, for yeah. a very long time. Yeah, I think they still do. Yeah. You know, but... So like the, I think I I hear it from like uh, Davy, right? Because I think he yeah, does Davey, that joke yeah. like every single freaking episode. <laughs> but I I was always wondering like was it like him? Was it like a whole ecosystem of people who make jokes that like that? I mean, I'm sure it's the big whole... brain, small PP. Yeah, the whole community. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel a little out of the loop because I I don't understand why it's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So this week I was uh in a meditation yoga retreat thing mm -hmm. in like this super fancy ass uh place called Esalen right. Institute. That's right. You went on the retreat. Yeah. Tell us I about just got it. back on Friday. Nice. Well, um, the place is super nice. I, I highly recommend like the the retreat area because it's like a private area. You get the whole ocean view. There are like these hot springs, like natural hot springs, um, that are like they they see that like the the bathhouse is right over the cliff, so you could be sitting in a tub with the hot spring while looking at the ocean. And I'm just like, yeah, there's nowhere else in the world where you can do that. So so that was really amazing to cook myself in the smelly water. 
because it smells like ass because it's like <laughs> sulfurous water. Smells <laughs> like rotten um, eggs, right? Yeah, it smells like yeah. rotten eggs with lots of naked people. It was also clothing optional. Um, <laughs> yeah, and co-ed. <laughs> so um, I was not naked. I don't know why I need to declare that, but I, I, I did keep my clothes on. Why am I? <laughs> my co-founder Christine was like trying to goad me into taking my clothes off. She but failed. Isn't it, like weird, because <laughs> if other people are doing it, but you don't do it. I guess it so it's not like many... I was the only person. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was uh, yeah, you have to be the same thing. Thing. Should be okay. No, right? but it it's like uh, it's like maybe you don't want to see other people naked too. You know, it's not about you getting naked. Well, this place is all about accepting bodies, so you don't have a choice. <laughs> oh, actually, I think they said that, oh, you can book privately or something like that. But, like, it was pointless because, like, literally, it's like, you can have this tub, but it's right next to everyone else's. <laughs> so there's no privacy at all. So it's like, what do you get out of it? Nothing. <laughs> mm. So um, I'm not sure how it would normally work um, if you really want like true privacy. I guess you can go in the middle of the night. It's open 24 hours. Uh -huh. So like, um, uh, yeah, we went one time at night when so just to see if we can see the stars and stuff. Uh, well, it's not and like, like a, you know, there was it's not like a package thing. Uh, like it was a kind of like a. Yeah, you can go in whenever you want during your stay, oh, which is really I thought, nice. I thought it was like a package thing, like a you know, like a tour mm -hmm. group, like everyone, like a group of people go and. Like, oh, must like, go at the same time. Yeah, luckily yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like that. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, but like we had like um, if you attended the seminar, then there's like there's like a certain free time. So mm -hmm. like it was most busy around like one to four, and yeah. then like you know it kind of like uh, drops off again. So, um, I think, yeah, if you're really determined to never see anybody, you can go in at, like, 3 a.m. or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that's a bit extreme, too. <laughs> you just see ghosts. So, um... <laughs> exactly, you'll be just, like, ghosts bathing next to you. Um, yeah, and then, like, um, yeah, they have facilities, the food was really good, they had, like, a cafeteria style, where you don't, I, like, you know, every day there's, like, a set menu, but they had, like, you know, uh, vegetarian options or, like, you know, uh, gluten-free options for every single menu, which I thought was, like, you know, super advanced of them. Um, so it was really nice to not have to think about what to eat. Like, you don't have to, like, decide anything, and that frees up so much brain time. Yeah. So I feel like it's, like, little things like that, where it's, like, ah, oh, like, so nice to not have to decide anything. <laughs> um, but what if you didn't like the food? Oh yeah, I, I heard someone who was like, "Oh, I didn't like the Thai, I didn't like Thai curries in general, so I just starved. So today I'm very hungry." <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I mean, there's always salad, but I think if you're used to like eating like a certain style, it might be jarring. Whereas for me, everything tastes good because I'm like, "Oh, this is normally what I make anyway." Yeah. Yeah. So that person is missing um, out if they don't like Thai curry. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, he, he's from, like, Chicago and, like, you know, grew up... I don't think he grew up with Asian food. So it's mm. a little rougher for him. <laughs> um, and it was actually... They made it pretty spicy. I was thinking, this is actually, like... <laughs> I can see how some people might be a little bit, like, you know, turned off. Uh -huh. um, yeah, uh, the people who... It was about 50 people in the same retreat seminar. So that you can be part of this group, or you can just like come as part of like Esalen's other things too. So there were other people around. Um, but like, yeah, 50 people were all like super nice. Um, you know, we exchanged contacts and all that kind of stuff. The textual teacher has inspired me and Christine, but not in the way that he hoped, I think. Because we, we think we could have taught a better class. <laughs> so me and Christy are very inspired now to come up with our own curriculum so you're gonna run your own uh, retreats yeah we're gonna run our own retreat like this is this is like BS <laughs> and we yeah, want to run I, it in the same place <laughs> I think your company's name actually makes for a good retreat name like a ritual. it does make a good retreat that's true yeah, yeah. it's a continuation <laughs> yes <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a continuation of our tea, like, you know, like getting deep into mental health by running a retreat as well. <laughs> um, you know, but, you know, like, we're not, like, completely unqualified, right? Like, Christine, like, teaches this sort mm. of thing at Stanford. So, um, so that's why, I like, you know, huh? You're a doctor. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, <laughs> if I have to wave the degree around. But, like, I, I attend so many of these, like, you know, uh, meditation retreats and, like, classes and stuff that, 
I, I feel like I know when it's done right and I know when it's done wrong. And this this the way this guy was writing it was like the the issue is that the people who attended these, a lot of them don't have any experience at all. So they think, oh, this is how it is. Whereas I'm like, oh God, what is he saying? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So so yeah, I mean I I feel like uh, I'm trying not to exercise restraint and not getting too mad at the how the guy was teaching it. Mm-hmm. But like all I can do is offer a better alternative. Yeah. Cause like he was saying stuff like, you know, people were like, oh, you know, I'm I'm like, you know, feeling like, you know, um, you know, depressed or anxious or whatever. And his advice is just stop it. And at first <laughs> I thought he was kidding. And then there was more to it. And I realized that this guy was not joking. And I was thinking, how damaging is that for a lot of people? Like, to to not have their thoughts heard and to not, like, dig a little deeper and to understand the, the source of their suffering. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it's like he's doing... Like, like religion, too? You need to have, like, a um, le- uh, religious mm-hmm. leader to guide you. Personally. Yeah! Yeah! So, so I feel like he's, like... And he has that cult leader charisma. I was discussing this with another, <laughs> like, uh, person who worked there. It's like, uh, that's the dangerous part, is that he probably could get away with it, like, for a naive person. They'd be like, oh, and people were just like, oh, yeah, he's so nice and so wise. And I was thinking in my head, no, he's not. Like, you just don't have an, been exposed to better teachers. And I'm not saying I'm a better teacher. I'm just saying that I have, like, encountered teachers who are, like, humble and, like, who are, like, acting and behaving in a way that is consistent with the teachings because even like the way he treats like he has these like yoga instructors who are with him who are his friends but he would just like be yelling at them to close the door and like just the way he talks to them it's like so terrible that i'm just like uh, like you're totally not appreciate like the acting the way you're preaching mm-hmm. like there's something clearly wrong with you actually like just the way he behaves is like super easily agitated and stuff uh-huh. i'm just like oh my god i can't believe it but now I have a lot of confidence that I can do a better job. <laughs> How much <laughs> so did I feel you very renewed. Oh my gosh, it was like um, over a thousand. Um, wow. Uh, but wow. mostly for the staying there, mm-hmm. I think. Because staying there is not cheap, even if you do it on your own. Um, and then like Christine and I shared a room, so it's already the cheaper deal. And yeah. this is already discounted because of COVID and everything. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, like you, you get to... Like people are willing to pay a lot to for this kind of thing. Yeah. So and but the thing is the yoga instruction was really good. Like they had like um I, I really love the yoga teachers, especially for someone who never did like proper yoga. Like uh like they they were very patient in like they're like, Okay, if you cannot do like, you know, these moves, like, you know, don't think of this as advanced, like, do the move that is, um, that your body can do now, and not the move that your body that you want can do. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and then also another thing is, like, don't think of yourself as getting back in shape. Uh, Like, you know, there's no going back, like, apparently. (laughs) You can only move forward in shape. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so... That's a good way to think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So as so I feel like they they adapted the class to all levels, um, and like you know did like um adjustments, which is something I like. It's like you know everyone would try to do whatever, right? But it's easy to like throw yourself out of alignment and all that. So they would like you know ask for permission and then and then like guide you back. So I think like oh, that's super value add for me. Mm. So, but yeah, like you know Christine is also a really good yoga person. <laughs> That's what I've learned. I was watching her. I was watching everyone else, including the guy, the, the main guy who was also teaching yoga. And I thought, what? Christine can teach better yoga. <laughs> like, you know, so I feel like, um, you know, she her, her like form looks really good and stuff. So so now we're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we, we can do this retreat. So she's <laughs> looking into like getting certified as a yoga teacher. You even know, right? Okay. <laughs> What she wanted to do before, she just like, um, you know, didn't follow through with it. Do you need a certification, like certificate to teach? So the disturbing thing is you actually don't. Right. That's yeah. what we, we researched. Yeah, anyone can just claim to be, which is kind of disturbing. I like, mean, it's really unregulated. It's yoga, right? It's not even, I don't know. Yeah. I, I would hope that you, like, what if someone like, does something crazy and, and like, fucks themselves up or something, you know? Like... I like the idea that someone would actually like correct you or something. 
Hmm. But yeah. Oh, and then like lastly, my friend sent me this when I was gone. Um, it's from the Crazy Ex Girlfriend show, and it's a song called "I'm So Good at Yoga," and it's the most hilarious song I've ever heard. <laughs> so I just linked it in the chat. Oh, you can okay. post it if you want. Yeah. Uh, it, it it got stuck in my head for several days. I'll share the link. I so, can't stream it because it'll get copyright. Oh, it'll get banned. All yeah. right, copyright claim. So, viewers, if you want to check it out later, it's a very short song. It won't take up that much of your time. <laughs> but yeah, like the the moment I was there, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if all my friends can be here with me? Because mm -hmm. I feel like. Love it. it is more fun when you're friends with you. Yeah. For sure. Like when we went to like those camping trips in school. Mm -hmm. I like that like the fact that my friends were with me was like the most fun part of the whole experience. Mm. That's yeah. interesting that you have such fond memories because I feel like the, the trips oh, I have gone with GIS were kind of like traumatized. <laughs> Those are fun memories. I mean, at least not to say like I had a blast or anything, but you know yeah. the fact that your friends are with you, uh -huh. kind of like a little holiday with your friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was memorable, but not necessarily in like the best kind of way. Anything is know? better with friends, yeah. 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 Hmm. Would you go for the year? Was it the year ten one when we went to the hotel? Uh, oh, hotel. The only one I remember is kind of rustic. Is we went to like, uh, did wait, we go to Radan? You didn't come to year. You, I didn't go you didn't come in year eight, right? We went to OBS no, no, no. Our mom's school in year nine. Oh, that's hardcore! Wow. I think that's the one that you went to, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> I went to the one. I think it's like to Radan or something. It wasn't like outward bound, like hardcore, but we did like a little bit. No, of... it, we went to out. It was, it was outward bound school, but it wasn't very hardcore. I mean, like, oh. I think back now it was quite normal. Now we did. We we went. We did. We canoed and then we did some rope course, flying fox, jungle trekking. Oh yeah, yeah, the flying fox. That was pretty cool. That's the like funnest thing to do, flying yeah. fox. <laughs> but uh, I heard like it's way more hardcore. Like my cousin went. Mhm. Mm like, she was like a uh, local school, so like uh, I don't know. They didn't. So were we given the the the? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're given the the pampered kids. <laughs> Package. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pussy oh. calls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it wrong what? to say that? Oh. To call something. Pussy. Oh, like a pussy version. <laughs> I'm very torn. I, cause in my gym, we use it all the time. Uh -huh. Oh. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. But my gym is also so super politically incorrect and I have to like no. remember that I cannot say Yeah, pretty much. I can't say a lot of these things to outside people. <laughs> but do you mind that they say uh, that? No, I think it's super hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. I think that's fine then. Yeah, but like but do you I, ever think I always feel it, like they, do you, oh, do you, but do you ever think like oh maybe they shouldn't say that? Like not because you're offended, but you know what? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I, yeah. I feel well, like I'm... I'm... The way we talk about things. Oh, well, um, I, I don't expect anyone to change. I think it's more like when it's like a newbie person, you know? And I, I'm always like, oh, are they like, you know, do they know that we're like that? Like, I always have this additional concern. But, <laughs> but the thing right. is, like, my, my gym coach's attitude is essentially like, if you don't like the way we talk, then we don't want you around anyway. Like, they, they're not, like, dying to get customers. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, um, so it's a good limits <laughs> test. If you can't handle this language, you probably won't like the, the rest of the whole thing. <laughs> do you feel yeah, like but... it's, like, motivating or inspiring when they... When they don't like be a harsh. pussy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're not like they're really super harsh when they say it either. Hmm. It's more like half joking too. So, uh, uh, Cobra, Cobra Kai. Yeah, <laughs> Cobra Kai. <laughs> we do have a Cobra Kai flag up in the gym. Oh, <laughs> Should I, I be wonder. concerned? <laughs> 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 I haven't watched the. I haven't watched the reboot. I'm like, is there a message here? I don't understand. <laughs> you should watch it. It's really good. Well, actually, um, no. I'm uh, not like you watch the reboot, then you realize that he's not a, he's not a bad guy. Oh. Misguided, misguided. 
Okay, so his okay. version of Cobra Kai is actually like a good thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. I love it when they're able to turn a villain into a good guy kind of story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. So, but the thing is, like, you know, my my gym, like, this is what I'm terrible at. It's all about the gangster demeanor. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I don't, I don't really have that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, which the coach says is a problem. It's like, you know, that's why, like, you know, when, like, when it comes to testing, which is, like, most stressful day, like, I tend to, like, do, sometimes even do a little worse than when I'm training. Because okay. I, like, I freak myself out. Yeah. And then you're supposed to overcome that with the gangster be- be demeanor and, like, the mean <laughs> face. <laughs> Neither of which I'm very good at doing. <sighs> so, I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, as much as... A cocky thing, you know, like, uh confident thing yeah and and it's like it's just i mean i can see how i can like practice it like it's just acting right and to some extent mm-hmm. but i like, i just never like in daily life when would i ever do, do that <laughs> I'm just, like sitting around like, Ooh. <laughs> like <laughs> you know <sighs> did you guys ever have to do a gangster face no or demeanor Oh, no, what? Yeah. I don't know anything. Like, no, not me. No. When you're walking around late at night? No. And you don't want to get mugged? <laughs> I just avoid people. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't really like confrontation. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times, like, I don't know why I imagine things like strangers coming up to me and like trying to start a fight. And shit, uh-huh. like but and it never happens. And but I always play like those kind of situations in my head for some reason. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And do you do you fight them, engage them in your fantasy, or sometimes? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, then, and then do like, you oh, do you win? I, w- I would shove this guy over the balcony, you know, if he talks shit to oh. me. Oh. <laughs> I don't oh. Really. It's always after the fact, though. Like. Like I get angry sometimes, and, uh, and after that, when I'm like I calm down, I'm like, oh, I should have said this, I should have done that. You know? No, no, but no one confronts mm-hmm. me or anything. It's just in my head that these things happen. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I watch too many. I films. mean, it sounds like good preparation in case shit does go down. <laughs> I don't know. Oops, sorry, I'm plugging in the power. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it yeah. comes from like. like uh trauma of being mugged oh yeah sorry yeah. i forgot that that happened to you oh i thought you remember that's why you brought it up <laughs> oh no no that was just me talking on my ass yeah. <laughs> yeah like do you mind talking more about that or do we already talk about it in a previous episode and i forgot i can't remember i don't know but i mean there's not much to say it's been so long uh, how many years ago was it? I was... How... I think I was like... College or first college? year of my job. I think Lim Kok Wing uh-huh. or first year at Inspedia or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I would have been... How old was I? 21? 22? I can't remember. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just walking at night going to go to my car and then uh mm-hmm. while crossing the road like these two guys were walking in the opposite direction and and then uh when they walked past me i felt a blow to my head my glasses fell oh. off and then i fell to the ground and then they kept Jesus. beating me mm-hmm. and i'm like give mm-hmm. us your phone <laughs> i'm like i don't mm-hmm. have a phone I'm like don't lie and then they beat me some more and then i'm like mm-hmm. fine okay you know i took out my phone gave it to them they they mm. were, Took it, ran into a car, and drove off. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, that I was like after that incident, I was like super wary whenever I walked out in public, mm-hmm. like by myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, always. Yeah, looking over my shoulder, and making sure like, like I would like yeah. you know, turn to see like that people aren't gonna come beat me in the head. Uh, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, I don't know. As I grew older, like that fear kind of subsided. I mean, sometimes it pops up when I'm in like very crowded places, which is kind of why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably, which is kind of why I don't like being in crowded places. 
Mm. Yeah. So uh, that's interesting. Like, so I would think that crowded places are safer because there'll be more people to help you. But is it like more like the chances of someone being a bad guy is higher? I think so. And I, it seems like in crowded places, you can't see what's coming, right? Yeah. But if there's nobody around you, then you can at least like uh, yeah. look out. If someone starts charging at you, then you be like, oh, it's pretty obvious, right? That's true. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But I also like when I walk in crowds, I will put my hands in my pockets to make sure my shit's there. <laughs> Mm, how they know just in case I... yeah well if my hands are <laughs> there they can't do anything no, no i mean that's what i, I yeah. read right like that's how pickpockets know oh because people are like are worried and like they always want to check right yeah and, mm-hmm. you keep it, and then that's how they know where your shit is then do they target yeah you? but like huh do they target you if they see you touching it uh i mean i don't know i mean i don't know what their criteria on how they choose their targets but i mean you know if you keep patting your front pocket and like oh something i won't pat i'll like you know just put my hands yeah yeah, but i mean like if you if you keep going to that same spot right Uh yeah so they Mm -hmm. they might know so that oh something's there you know he he, he's like concerned enough to keep reaching for it like so many times you know could be valuable go walk around with a mouse Mm -hmm. trap yeah, you could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining the you know those like trick trick gum. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, so, do you remember the trick lighter back in school? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <sighs> did it like spark you? Like how did that one work? Uh, when you like flick it. I, I mean, pen. when you no, when you press the no, it was a no, no, it was a lighter. When you press the ignition, did it shock you? yeah, it shocks yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> But then, I mean, sing it loud, shocking so toys. Huh? It broke so fast, though. Yeah, because it dropped. Yeah, because people <laughs> dropped it when it got and after it dropped. What terrible design! I got you. I can't remember who else tried it out. <laughs> yeah. oh, they should have made little anti-shock, like little like, like you know <laughs> things in the bottom. Ah. <laughs> oh. Do they still yeah, those like, prank toys are the best. Ties? I remember last time. I think people... we can still get them off like Ali or Shopee or those kind of things because mm. it's like so janky, right? No, they they play it. Um, they play on Korean variety shows. Like they, oh, they, really? They call, they call it. Uh, it's also like, what's it called? Uh, lie detector. That's right. Oh, just mm-hmm. that. Lighting. I mean, it's obviously not a lie detector. I don't think it's how it works, right? But you know, so they play that game. So they ask some questions, and then uh-huh. they'll, they'll, they'll see whether they get shocked, you know. And then it adds to the comedic effect. But yeah, it, it's uh-huh. quite popular in Korean variety shows. Wow. Oh, is it the the good old like everyone's holding on to a thing? Oh, no, no, no. Like... Like, uh, you, you strap your hand in, and then like, the, uh-huh. the contact points your fingers. So like, when you get shocked, oh. you can't like pull back because it's like your hands locked in, right? Are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, it's always really funny. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mean, stuff like uh, fake shit and stink bombs. Yeah, I used to see them all the time in like Toys R Us, you know? Yeah, when I was in Singapore, I would like uh, see all these things too. Yeah. I don't know if they had it in Malaysia, but then in Singapore, they were called we... POW, like POW. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? That yeah, band, so yeah. it's like POW, POW tricks. But I don't see, had, like, see, see them anymore. I don't know. Probably like died off. Then there was fart spray. Oh my god, that, that was like terrible. <laughs> I know, like uh, in school, uh, someone threw huh? a, a stink bomb inside the van. That was. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the driver oh. got so pissed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, wasn't me, but <sighs> it was so smelly. Like, basically, it smelled like sulfur, I guess. Uh huh. Like rotten egg. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, they mo- so they threw it in a vehicle? Yeah, inside the van. Jeez. <laughs> so so how did they, the, were they ever down. caught? I, I don't know who threw it. Like, no one was, like, admitting. Admitting? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if you, <laughs> you, you threw the stink bomb and you happen to be watching the show, <laughs> please let us know because we want to know who did it. It's, it's like is it, has it been 20 years like the statute of limitations is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly shit I just realized mm. like 
next year will be 20 years since we graduated GIS. Oh, wow. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Reunions I should go for? I don't know. Have you like, been to any? I've never received no. any... No one invited me. ...invitations. Yeah. <laughs> No, we see like in the I... alumni newsletter, they'll have like yeah, yeah, yeah. reunion parties, right? But it's not for our year, so I'm like, oh. Okay. Right, it's always for younger kids and yeah. I'm all, all like much older people and I'm just like, huh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we, we see each other. I mean, usually way. it's weddings, that's when we see uh, everybody. No, but I mean, even True. normal days, like, well, I like... see enough of my, I see enough of like people from my school. Oh. I don't. I don't feel a need to have a special event. You know? Yeah. Mm. Did you guys? Like, okay, so I, I mm -hmm. actively avoid people. Like this one, what? I went to buy chicken rice, and uh -huh. then I saw uh, some people from our year, but I not name. Right? Wait, well, like... I want to know. I want to know the names. Type it in the uh, chat. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> For context. Can I read it out? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll and damage then, his trust forever. And then, oh, after, and then interesting. I, I mean, people. it's not that I don't like. It's not that I don't like them. It's just that uh, we're not close, right? So all these conversations are very superficial. Like, hey, how are you? What are you mm. doing? You know, what are you been mm. doing? Some people Meet live for that. Those kind of things. But I don't like. I don't like having those conversations. It leads to nowhere. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Like, oh shit! And then I I tap mm -hmm. out and then I waited outside instead of going in. <laughs> oh okay i mean i'm the same way like especially like because you know as you know i show up randomly right <laughs> and then uh, with my family in the mall or whatever i'm always like oh i don't want i don't i don't know at the time i felt like too shy i almost like to have that same awkward conversation mm -hmm. so i'm also quite avoided but now i'm in retrospect i'm like why 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 did i do that you know <laughs> i mean but where, why would you want to have these conversations like where does it go Like, because you already feel like, oh, it's going to be reminiscing of the past slash what are you up to now? And you're like, oh, that's so boring. Yeah. So like, why do you want to have those conversations? I don't know. I guess like on the off chance that like. I guess, okay. Maybe if, you have, maybe if you haven't seen them for a really long time. Right. Maybe. Oh. So, but I see so... them like, I see them like mm -hmm. occasionally enough where I don't feel the need to have these kind of conversations. Yeah. Right. I mean, oh, like yeah. So, I seen in 20 years, then, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, fine. it makes sense to say mm -hmm. hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, what I've learned from this week, which is not through the seminar, but through Christine, because, you know, because one thing that they teach you, um, like this guy was trying to teach was, like, oh, you should do reflective listening where you mirror what the other person's saying, right? So, when, when George said he, he got mugged, I, you should say, uh, you should repeat what he's saying back to him. Okay. But then the way he taught it was so like robotic that I'm just like, oh my god, if someone did that, she'd be all slapped in the face. Because <laughs> like, it's obviously you're just repeating what he's saying. Yeah. Um. So so she said that yeah, at like the way that that she teaches it at the at Stanford is you're supposed to demonstrate emotional vulnerability yourself. You should, you're supposed to say like you know oh you know I I really appreciate you like you know sharing this incident that's you know very traumatic and then I feel like you know it's really brave of you to to share this with me and it demonstrates the courage you have in like processing these events. And like, you know, I, I feel like, you know, it helped me understand you better, like in terms of why you are scared um, when, when you're outside. And I also feel the same way. Like, I also am very like, you know, um, like careful. I carry a pepper spray and a knife, right? Like, mm. I'm also like very careful about strangers. So, so, you know, something like that, which, you know, doesn't feel like as like ingenuine as like, yes, I hear that you were mugged and that you, <laughs> two people bash you over the head. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, that's too much. Like, there's, there's, yeah, there's I read they also taught that by, but they say like you should use like the words they use mm -hmm. uh, to make it seem like you're listening to them. So it's like, yeah, oh, I got, got right. mugged. And he's like, Mark, you say, you know, it's something like you know, like you use the same, yeah, word. You, you don't use the mm -hmm. full sentence, like you know, like, yeah. right? Some, some like you know, like, using wow, the same mark, words you know, like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I agree, like, you cannot like just like you know, go to free form because it becomes like very convoluted. Um, but like, you know, the, the reason why I don't like these encounters is because it becomes, it's always really surface and shallow, right? People, no yeah, one is yeah. going to like, 
you know it's always going to be like oh yeah i did this and that and like you know like hey remember when but those oh, are not oh, actually so <laughs> it reminds me like uh this... <laughs> where was i i was out with someone right uh mm-hmm. i shall not name also for privacy <laughs> and then we it was it's a girl right from our school so and then she ran oh, into type, type, another type. girl another girl from our school and then uh so they were so they were like uh acting like all so close and like oh my god i haven't seen you for so oh long, that and then, sorry and then, and then and then like we should hang out sometime yeah 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 you know and then they leave right and then after she tells me oh you know can't stand her <laughs> and I'm like, oh, why do you say that you know why do you offer to hang out then you know then it's like it's like one of those like oh it's just natural it's like one of those things you just say you know like oh how yeah. are you you know we should catch up you know but actually you yeah. don't really mean it it's just like something you say mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> Oh man, it's so hilarious. That makes me feel better that other people do that. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like, you know, I I, I, I want to say that I, I would default to, like, acting like that too. But yeah, like, the degree with which I'll reach out again, it's like, depends, right? I don't want to be, like, overly enthusiastic if I don't sense the other person actually wants to reach out either. Mm-hmm. And I think especially as, like, you know, oh, do you think uh, it's as a woman. Yeah, I think a lot of times the women, like women, when when women do each do this to each other, there's a mutual understanding that everyone's acting. Oh. <laughs> you just go your own separately. So oh, because... the other girls probably also going, uh, whatever. Ah, so... oh, right. <laughs> so because when people do that, and then I'm like, ah, they probably don't mean it, right? So, so my yeah. response would be like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, you know, like I'm like, yeah, it's more like a whatever, but I'll phrase it like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, sure, you know. So maybe they mm-hmm. actually do want to hang out, but they sense that oh, he doesn't want to hang out. So they, they, they yeah. don't ask, and then I, uh, you know, I just prove myself true, you know, like a self yeah. prophecy. Oh know? no! <laughs> oh no! Uh, I lost so many friends. <laughs> well, now we should officially declare that, like, we do want to hang out. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know, but we but... would like to preface it, yeah, like, but like, not have the shallow conversations. Yeah. Yeah, which is a big ask, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's okay for you yeah. to just wave at me or nod yeah. at me. I'll wave and nod back. I find that yeah. it's better than having these shallow conversations. <laughs> yeah, so so one time, like, I actually, I was in the mall. This is, like, a long time ago. And I ran into this person. I just typed in the chat, right? But then, like, she... she I don't think it's, like, she's so tall. <laughs> I genuinely think she didn't see me because I'm, like, way below her eye level. <laughs> you know? And then like, I also felt like, you know, she had a bit of a resting bitch face. So mm-hmm. I couldn't tell whether she wanted to be approached or not. But now in retrospect, she's probably her neutral face. Maybe I should have just said hi. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. I, I, I always feel a little... I, now, now I feel like with the pandemic, like I'm going to be a lot more pro, like, you know, willing to, to talk to people when I run into them. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now Pandemic you FOMO. wear a mask, so people won't know if you're ignoring them or not. Like, they can't tell it's you. Oh! And then if they call yeah, you Yeah, I suppose. Future, There's plausible deniability. You can say, no, that wasn't me. Like, everyone wears a oh. mask. Like, <laughs> someone who looked okay. like me. <laughs> well, have you, maybe I brought this up before. The, like, some people have the mask printed with their face. Oh yeah, you mentioned. Oh that. right, yeah, yeah, which is like super creepy. But that's Morning, one way. Elvin. <laughs> or those uh, clear masks where you can, yeah. Or we could wear the razor mask when it comes out, mm-hmm. and then people could tell and spot us from a mile away. <laughs> uh, what a good way to get robbed. Now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Right, like not then soon, like <laughs> the mask, mask, mask like robbery. Drawing a thing. target. Yeah. <laughs> Just like yank it off your face. Mask. Yeah. Uh, and it reminds me of like this is so terrible, but like, you know, in Hong Kong, like I think it was like a like a terrible joke where it's kinda like, you know, if you're being sexually assaulted, you should yell that you have AIDS or something like that. Uh-huh. But I feel like if someone's going to steal your mask, could you just yell, I yell I have COVID or something like that? Would that stop the person? I don't know. Would stealing it? I mean, it? It they'll be so like, I'll desperate. watch it first. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, no, they're like, we're just reselling it. it. I don't care. If he takes it off your face and you do have COVID, then he'll get it, right? It's not in the mask. Unless he's wearing a mask while robbing you. I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. I think of his mask. <laughs> oh, I got a double yank. Yeah, I'll think of his mask and put it on me. On me. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so yeah, now we're very prepared for all sorts of mocking scenarios. What did flow state uh, coffee do to warrant a permanent half page occupancy? Can Murni do the same? Oh yeah, do they we can. Have a promo code for Murni. <laughs> yeah, we should generate one, or else there's no way for us to like do a proper referral to your place. <laughs> I am very fascinated by the the it's bakery equipment, right? That's just mm -hmm. like Alvin's company. Yeah, yeah I'm still very fascinated by it. <laughs> yeah. Planning on starting your own bakery? Let us guide you through your new venture. Call us today. Welcome to Movie That's super Machinery, cool. your bakery solutions provider. Through yeah. our industrial expertise, we have been the premium solutions provider for enthusiasts who share our strong appreciation for the art of bakery. <laughs> you should put your own face here, Alvin. Like, not this random white person. <laughs> Don't this his stock photos. <laughs> yeah. It makes it seem premium. Yeah, you shouldn't use. Which stock is kind of photos. it's just kind of like self self racist, I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? Like, why why white person? Uh... There are no white people in your company either, and you're selling to oh. Malaysians. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> But you white know, like that's legitimize the... it. <laughs> exactly. There's like a bit of like self like co colonialization that happens. I'm not saying like you know I'm not guilty of the same thing. Yeah. No, I mean yeah. It's but this true. is this is really nice. Like almost every like product has like a white person like as the face of it for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even like yeah, it's like we see, associate like, white with premium and all that. Yeah, white is mm -hmm. right. <laughs> no, <laughs> I I think that's that's messed up. Oh, I didn't realize that there's like a whole support system. That's really cool. I thought it was just the machinery. I didn't realize that your company also helps people with planning and all the other steps before you buy a very expensive machine. <laughs> wait, is it right for me to say? No, wait, is it wrong? If I say white is right, if I'm not a white guy, no. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm... I, I I would say that it, it isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean obviously the sen the sentiment isn't right, but is it? I mean, if a white person said that, then obviously people would go, oh, you know, you can't say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm not white, does it make it? Not it just right. seems. I mean, there's this whole there's this whole movement now that called decolonization of our of our minds uh -huh. <laughs> that's happening, tell, especially tell in cooking. Why, you know, I can't say white is wrong either because that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. So white is okay. <laughs> well, like either way is 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 messed up because I think like um. Yeah, there there is this like campaign that was being done at Coca Cola to be like called be less white. Or something wow. that was supposed to be about uh, like developing a sense of like you know anti-racism but the way they phrased it pissed off a lot of conservative people who are like what yeah. now that's, that's even more racist you're saying <laughs> i cannot be myself Basically, so, so I, either way it's terrible Lego and there's a catchy people. country song or yeah. simpsons you know yeah like don't mention uh, um, any race at all i guess so you are right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they are right. Yeah. It's a very catchy country song this guy wrote um, about it's the situation. All, it's like, it's all, oh, right. I thought this was like the official jingle that oh. people use. <laughs> no, not good. And then all, everyone who's conservative like jump on the bandwagon of like shitting on this campaign, you know? So, mm -hmm. so I feel like, yeah, you shouldn't do these things because it just makes it even worse. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I'm looking at all these machines. I could use a nice mixer. Well, you know who to call. Do yeah. You have a discount code, Alvin. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Why Coca Cola is under fire for promoting reverse racism? Mm hmm. Oh. All right. It's, a, it, it's an internal training thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of messed up. I don't well, know, it seems like they were trying to do the right thing, but they went too extreme. 
Yeah, and in offending everyone else. Which is kind of messed up, and I think it shows that maybe, like, the diversity committee or whatever had no white person in it, so which I think is also not that great. I think you need, like, <laughs> representation of the race. But people oh. will say, like, that white person, like, is doesn't have valid opinions because they've never been oppressed. Oh, it just wasn't listened to? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Alvin has a semi-auto curry puff forming machine. And I'm very intrigued by this <laughs> concept of, of, like, a semi-auto. Because I'm, like, wondering how much of the curry puff do they make? And, like, well, at what point is it dropped off? Like, and you gotta, like, take over with manual intervention. Where Where is it under? It's under special machine. Special... Yeah. Oh, there's also theme some machines. That's in, that's so cool. I didn't realize you can automate it's making siu mai and like dumplings. Really? Did they sell yeah. those frozen in the supermarket? I assume they're all made in the factory. Yeah, and I always thought it was some auntie who's doing it, but I guess it's a machine. What? No. <laughs> You're on the it's, wrong money it's site, so apparently. That's his competitor. Hey, so Auntie's gonna be very fast. <laughs> this is his uh, official site. Oh, that's cool now. That's <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, when are you gonna have curry puff machines, Alvin? <laughs> oh, donut fryers. Eh? Hey? Wait, I'm on a different website. Yeah, you are. This is competitive. Is that not the same? No. It's not this one? Let's see no. which one you put. Mooneybakery.com Obviously, that's his competitor, right? <laughs> Elvin, is oh, this really? your competitor? She's promoting my competitor. <laughs> oh, wait, that's so messed up. How can they have the exact same name? <laughs> Yeah, maybe Elvin, you should long... come on the podcast to like yeah. clarify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Speed. No, that's so messed up. Like, how can a company just copy your thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, one is Mooney Machinery, and the other one is mm -hmm. Mooney Bakery Equipments. <laughs> oh, but this one is Dim Sum Machine. I think it's cool. It's like two people with the same name, you know? But, I mean, that's so, like, what does morning mean? Does it have something to do with baking or No, something? it's a person's name, I think. Right, Elvin? Okay, then then why would someone copy it to that level? Like, that, that's Maybe so messed up. I, Elvin's company had their reputation. So now they're just building off it. Gee. It's like how when Xiaomi started yep. out, they were copying Apple everything. Yeah, but they didn't call themselves, like... Snapple, like you know, <laughs> or, like, or like Apple, but not like Apple the, or something the, like that. The, the like guy, the guy dressed like Steve Jobs. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. What's his name? Huh? Uh, I never knew that. Uh, is it is it founder? Uh, well, Malaysia. sorry, Alvin. Yeah. I didn't realize this. Such <laughs> is unscrupulous people around. So he Jeez. said it's my dad's old partner company. They split ways. Oh, I see. That's too bad. Well, now I know it is, uh... At least he got the mooney.com, don't mind. Like, yeah. He didn't need to It's add the one, okay, bakery. so everyone remembers, <laughs> the one with the babies. The one with the babies is the genuine one. Uh, well, I mean, that's just a... Uh, everyone can be holding their product up and wearing a simple outfit. Like, that's a little... <laughs> Steve Jobs doesn't own that. Elizabeth okay, so let me look at what? his proper products. Let's Google Elizabeth Holmes. Oh. A donut fryer is so dangerous to have at home. I'll just be making donuts all day. Why did Alvin bring up home. Elizabeth Holmes? Oh, yeah, yeah. She also acts exactly like Steve Jobs. To oh, like a, all right. but but she's very explicit. She is like going like, oh, Steve Jobs is my like idol. 
-hmm. Therefore, I will wear black turtlenecks and talk in a very deep voice. <laughs> Notice I didn't even have to change my voice to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, Wait, she's messed up. Didn't you speak about? Brings a bad name to all pharma. Hmm? I thought I thought you spoke about Terranos before, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Let's see. What did they do? They're still prosecuting her, or whatever the law terms are. Device blood test. Uh... Why? What did she do wrong? Uh, she essentially made up the whole, like, um, startup. Like, the whole main idea is you can test a bunch of things using a drop of blood, mm -hmm. but that never worked. Okay. Oh. She just, like, lied about it the entire time, and she had these, like, actually she used, like, just some generic competitive machines to do the tests. Yeah. And then even, the, and even then, the tests are not even reliable. Okay. And it's, like... It's just like a, a like a scam all the way down, and then like you know the, the worst part as usual is that like people who try to like whistleblow were also like you know attacked and suppressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it took like a very long time. I mean, even still now, she's not in jail. Like you know, she's still doing like a millionaire and going about her life because you know it's very hard to catch rich people doing mm -hmm. bad things. <laughs> oh, but it's like it decreases the trust. You know? Yeah. But it's like then now it's like you know people don't trust the biotech oh, industry yeah. right it's already kind of shitty like yeah now you go and scam people makes everyone look bad mm -hmm. yeah well, and also ruined the whole like copying steve jobs thing because every time i you know i think of someone copying steve jobs i think of elizabeth <laughs> holmes first just like alvin and i'm just like oh no oh. that should be totally not cool i, I think of the xiaomi guy <laughs> <laughs> So Ruin black be. turtlenecks for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a movie about yeah. that too. The Inventor mm -hmm. by HBO. Yeah, there's just several. I think there's also Bad Blood okay. as well. Hmm. Ah, that's yeah. Cool. That's yeah. called <laughs> Out for Blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot oh. of puns. Yeah. Well, speaking of blood, I, I went for my second dose today. Oh yeah. Yeah. How you feel? I, I I feel fine. Like no no side effects or anything. And I I watched the lady press the needle in and like push. Oh. So yeah, maybe it was like saline. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I I don't feel anything and it was fine. Like came home, continued working. Good. I guess I can't get MC a day off. Sag. Oh. Uh, what vaccine did I... I got Sinovac. Sinovac? Sinovac? Yeah. Yeah. So, you saw that the needle wasn't empty when I went in? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. Like, she <laughs> showed me, like, there was liquid inside it. And then... I mean, uh, if someone really wanted to fake it, they could just put saline in there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> So I asked the lady, uh, like, uh, I didn't, like, take notice during my first jab. Like, how will I know if I really got it? And she's like, oh, uh -huh. no way to tell. <laughs> oh, how honest. Yeah. I mean, it's but true. I mean, uh, Andrew said there's a, there's a test, right? There's a test? I mean, uh, it's not widely available yet, but he said, like, uh, one, no, one of the hospitals are saying they have a test, uh, to test for the antibodies of the vaccine or something like that. Oh, I mean, it's to show that you have been vaccinated. I'm not sure you can tell you, you which one you got. Mm. That one said, oh man, the placebo. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I mean, whatever. Mm. I got the cert and I guess... Well, yeah. let's see. I mean, this is not a good way of telling, but it'll be interesting to see if you got, like, if you're sick for the next few days. Yeah, we'll see. Like, so far, so good. <laughs> Yeah, my mom brought up like the issues like incidents. you got Sinovac right next time you can't go to the US because they apparently don't like trust China vaccination or something oh. and uh, I'm like <laughs> oh when that time comes we'll worry about it <laughs> well, maybe yeah, like, um... then the COVID won't be like such a big deal anymore mm -hmm. yeah yeah who knows I mean we'll see 
I don't even know when I'll be able to go to the US again. Or even leave Malaysia, for that matter. Right? Oh, are you guys still not allowed to leave? No, don't think so. I think you're allowed to leave for like emergencies or certain situations. Yeah, I mean, we can't travel for leisure yet. But yeah, you can't travel for leisure yet. Oh. Which is the only point of traveling. I mean, recently, like, uh, is it today or is it yesterday? Like, traveling uh, for work sucks. Oli- the Malaysian <laughs> Olympics yeah. team left for Tokyo. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tokyo is still going on. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, my friend was telling me he was watching, um, I think, the... Uh, Diving, okay. Apparently, um, really? like Malaysia cleaned up the the women's ten meter diving competition. Oh, no okay. idea. <laughs> Malaysia bole. You Congratulations! <laughs> I know. Wait, we can. No, do... but has it has it started already? Um, I, maybe it's like the you know the the before they do. I guess the finals I guess kind of thing. There's no spectators. There's no point doing the opening ceremony like the grand one, right? Oh, just it's a preliminaries. Oh, it's prelims. Oh, is this the FINA Diving World Cup? Is this associated with... Nah, Maybe this know. is not the Olympics at all. This is something else. Oh, okay. What is this? Um... Oh, Olympics start today. Oh, today? Oh. 18 to 20. Wait, today? Well, the torch relay starts today. Oh, so I guess tomorrow's like events already. I think so. Oh no, wait. Uh, what's this? Oh no, Paralympic Games. I'm not sure. I don't even know. But yeah, whatever. Hey. 23, no, no. Where? 23 July to 8 August Olympic Games. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm on the Olympics.com website. Yeah, how how do you, uh, how do you guys watch it? Do you, do you, is it going to be on TV? It's probably on I Astro, I think. It, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I mean, it's always oh. been broadcasted anyway. I mean, not that I would watch, I think. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, but, but then, like, I don't know. I mean, I've seen a lot of these videos on Reddit uh-huh. where people compare, like, the Olympics from back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like, like, 80 years ago or something like that. And, like, mm. it looked so lame last time. <laughs> yeah, people... Oh. Have like like, much better. like the, especially the gymnastics one like back then people were just jumping around mm-hmm. and then now like uh, then they compare it to now where people are like somersaulting and doing flips off the those uh horizontal bars yeah mm-hmm. yeah so i don't know it, it seems so lame that that i'm not sure why even people are bothered I mean, back then they didn't know they could do these things. No, no, but probably. it didn't look like so. Uh, it didn't look so technically difficult that you will have a sporting event around it. Mm. Yeah, like well, now no. I get it, right? Like now it looks so challenging. Like it's something that you look at and you know, like I definitely can't do that, right? Oh, you know. But last time, like you look at the videos, the people are like just literally just jumping, you know. And they oh, like jumping yeah. bags and all that, and then they consider that gymnastics, and then I'm like, you know, uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Alvin said it's because humans evolved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the whole like four minute mile, right? The moment someone did it, everyone like caught up really quick. It's like all yeah. mental. True. Like yeah, people see it's possible, and then it mm-hmm. gives them the motivation. Yeah. Oh, but that was um, something already, right? That was like impressive back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like it took it took so long to get to four minute mile, and then like that record but broken way faster ever since then. I guess. Mm. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe we're we're reading too much into these stories too, and there's like, other factors like nutrition and other things that maybe just suddenly got a lot better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nutrition like got a lot better since. And mm-hmm. shoes. And then now you have all those shoes like, got supplements better. and on it. Yeah, shoes. Mm-hmm. And running mm-hmm. clothes. Oh yeah. I was very <laughs> tempted to get that four percent shoe. <laughs> Nike. <What? laughs> they 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 sell a pair of the like vaporflies that like they claim would make you fun run faster by four percent. Four percent. They're also like really expensive. <laughs> but I don't know, it's four percent a lot. Vapor uh, if you're competing, it, it makes a difference. Like, yeah, for me, it's like, <clears throat> like, 
I'm not even running that fast. So <laughs> why does it matter, right? But like, yeah, I think it's some sort of like bounciness to the shoe or something. Let's see here. Nike. Blah, blah, blah. It's strong and crazy lightweight. Speaking of shoes, the other day I saw the Kickstarter for the coffee shoes. What are coffee shoes? Uh, shoes made from uh, used coffee grinds. Wait. Oh. oh. Kickstarter. Hang on. Let me find it. Expressol. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I was saying the, like, the ultimate oh, hipster it. shoes. I shared the link on Discord. They do look like hipster shoes. <laughs> but, I yeah. mean, they look like the, the, the cheap China shoes. <laughs> I don't know, right? I mean, for all we know, they could be like OEM shoes rebranded. Yeah, I don't know. That's I'm very skeptical a lot of, about like, this. Products like I see on people selling on Instagram, and then like I look at shoes. No, not 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 these shoes, but like let's say um, I don't know bicycle uh, what do you call it? bicycle wear, right? Like mm -hmm. all those yoga clothes, oh. a lot of mm -hmm. like. Malaysians, or at least I've seen like pop up on my feed, lah. Like, they just sell mm -hmm. uh, OEM stuff with like their own logo printed on, and yeah. then they mark the price yeah. up. Like, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. like I'm curious, so I just go on AliExpress and then I type like yeah. uh, customizable yoga pants. What I find the same fucking exact like design oh, and colors, yeah, okay. just without the logo. Okay. And like they sell yeah, it much yeah, cheaper, yeah. and then like they have yeah. options for you to put your own logo on them. Uh -huh. I'm like. What is, I don't know, like these I mean, people. That's, that's, like, that's how I feel about like all these YouTuber merch as well. Uh -huh. Oh, they just slap their logo on like a generic t shirt. And yeah. And sell it for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And like, you know, there's nothing special about it other than you just want to support your favorite YouTuber. There's nothing mm -hmm. special about mm -hmm. it. Sure, but well, I mean, most of them. I, I, I want a like, YouTube of myself up. one day. You what? You know those like uh, figurines? Uh huh. Oh, that, that YouTubers get of themselves. I mean, <laughs> kind of like, like those the, uh, uh, pop fun uh, Funko yeah, pop, pop things. Pop. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I used to, there was a shop in Mid Valley like a long time ago. <laughs> they would like scan. Oh, they would make it, it right? Yeah, yeah, they'll make it. Yeah, for you, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's made of clay, right? And they don't. I'm not they don't sure make it that like it. Funko yeah. Pop oh, style. But there, there, there's one shop in the the Isetan in Lot Ten. Uh -huh. Where they uh -huh. do a 3D scan of you and then they make a 3D printed doll. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my friend has one of those, like that style, uh, from his work or something, kinda like a goodbye present. <laughs> it's oh. like it's like a little <laughs> doll himself. <laughs> but you kind of you kinda was like, yeah, but like it's kinda creepy because it's like it's almost like a voodoo doll of yourself, so you can never get rid of it. What <laughs> <laughs> oh. happens to it happens to you? <laughs> I <never thought laughs> I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so so that that bursted my getting a Funko Pop of myself dream. Um, <laughs> Why are you like? But yeah, the, the AliExpress thing is totally my situation now with the Huddy Ritual merch, right? Uh huh. It's like yeah, like there's these like websites called Printify, or whatever that can like print stuff for me, and no, I, I was actually. It, I mean, it's fine as long as you're not marketing it as a, uh, you know. Oh, as a and, thing. Yeah, so, like a special. Yeah. Exactly. Special yeah. Kind of pants. Like yeah. that's fine, you know. Yeah. Up front, these are just yeah, much, yeah. Like. Yeah, mm. but people like. Well, so what were you looking at? Was it yoga pants or was it, what, what, what was the actual no, so, thing? Like they pop up on my feed. So like, uh, I yeah. had some like ex colleagues who were sharing like, oh, check out my friend. Mm -hmm. She opened her own label with like oh, uh, these, uh -huh, uh -huh. like special, specially tailored yoga pants. So I go Ooh. like it was like in the story la. So I was like this look so fucking generic right yeah so i just <laughs> check on aliexpress and I find the same thing uh, yeah and stuff like that oh so how are they cust is it like they customizable in terms of size or in terms of logo like from what AliExpress? is being customized oh like the, the girl is claiming oh, these are customizable pants like no, 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 the, like they, they, patterns the, the seller is claiming that they're her own design when all she did uh -huh. was put a logo on these pants I mean, that's genuine, right? If she designed the logo. <laughs> right? Right? And then you I guess sell you it like three it, like, oh, I designed it, I designed it myself, right? But then you weren't specific. I was like, oh, 
I designed the logo. I meant the logo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, and uh, you go to a website and it makes uh -huh. it seem like some premium, like, quality stuff when it's actually not. Oh. Yeah. Can you, can you link it to uh, me? I want to check it out. Yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, I have to dig uh, up. It's a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries. Um, yeah. Because cause now I'm like, oh, I want to make custom oh, honey ritual yoga pants. It's actually very on brand. <laughs> so that I want to do. Uh, that's true. <laughs> also do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, maybe I should advertise you put honey the logo on the crotch. On the on the crotch area? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was usually on the butt. Well, I mean, Isn't you it? can be different, right? Like Steve Jobs. Think different. Uh, <laughs> Just have our honey ritual jujube guy, like, right at the crotch. Yeah. The real honey's here, or something like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know. I would think it's super funny. I feel like Christine would not have the same sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ten all products. Everyone one use. Okay. I'm making a I'm making a, a discount code for Honey Ritual for this stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can. Yeah, which I don't know why I never did. Let's like it's see. very disturbing how it never occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, but um... yes, you can. We've crossed the hour mark, so I guess we can plug our sponsor. Yeah. Hey, Elvin, if you want some coffee, check out New Wave Flow State Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, it's organic ground coffee with L-theanine and raw cacao. Your go-to morning beverage to lower anxiety, improve brain function, and support creativity. <laughs> Perfect to kickstart your creative morning and maintain optimal productivity through your workday at the office or at home. Drink whenever your brain needs an energizing flow state. So if you use the yeah. code, uh, the URL in the text below, you can get 10% off your order. Uh, two bags for free shipping worldwide. So yeah, if you're looking for a new brand of coffee to try out, give these guys a shot. Yeah, and then when you're all hyped up from coffee and you want to like calm down, you can try Honey Ritual. <laughs> oh, so I really like. I don't know how my friend worked at international shipping. I have not worked that out yet. Uh -huh. So if you would like to order from outside of the U.S., please email me, <laughs> <laughs> and I need to figure that out. I think I think I need to use like ShipStation or one of those like bulk shipping services to make it actually like yeah, worth probably. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. on my to-do list that is continuing to grow. Have you had a lot of like? People expressing interest from overseas? No. No. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, which I don't expect kind of because... because like local anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I mean like we I've been asked that before by someone in Singapore. It's like, you know, would your product work in, in Asia, right? And I think like um it depends. Like I think there's like a whole you know, uh, association, like, you know, of like US as a premium product. So maybe that's one angle. And then the other angle is the whole mental health piece, which is not a big thing in Asia. Maybe we need to start thinking about that. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, practically shipping to Asia, I've not figured out. So, but I would totally like make it work if anyone is interested in ordering. You can send it to me and then I can mail it out for you in Malaysia. Yeah, like a bulk, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that's only for Malaysian artists. And then we can drink it on the stream. <laughs> that's true too. <laughs> yeah, I actually I sent it to a friend in um Philippines. Uh -huh. But as part of like a big like uh Balik Bayan box, which is like their whole like shipping like things from the US to Philippines via boat. Oh okay. Situation. So it took like months to arrive and it was like my friend's box. Uh and then I piggybacked on it and then like, you know, it took like it's like 10 minutes from, from my friend's home, so that worked out. Did it expire? But yeah. My tea doesn't expire, but something I sent her did expire, which is like these Ruffles chips that I wanted to send her. <laughs> but like, because it took so long. Yeah. But it's it so cheap. Been real long, it was right? free. Chips don't expire that quickly. It was already like close to expiration. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> 
Yeah, it was a little. Oh shit! I just watched this uh video like a uh, PewDiePie reacting to this like a uh, guy who was supposed like one of the cheapest guys in the world. So he buys mm-hmm. uh like his meat almost like expiration, and mm-hmm. then uh, he he like he keeps his clothes in the fridge because he said mm-hmm. like the cold will kill all the bacteria. And then uh, he heats his soup in a jacuzzi. I don't know, it's like kind of messed up. <laughs> I think this person has mental issues. Yeah, probably. No. <laughs> is it one of those TV shows like... Um, yeah, the... it's a TLC yeah. show. Yeah. The TLC oh. show? I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> like, come on. No, because I watched this one with an Asian girl. Okay. Like, it's the same show. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was with an Asian girl. And then like, she had like a... I don't know, another sh- clip where she explained how they filmed it and stuff, and she said she was goaded into being weird by the producer, oh, huh. and she regrets that, being on like, it. I was like, going to say, like, maybe the producers, like, prompted them, like, hey, what if you... Yeah. Try yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess, I mean, yeah. if the person is being paid to act weird, then that's fine. No, but you're not paid well, to act, right? Like, I don't know if you're paid or not. Everyone else is concerned. They think it's, like, the real shit. I mean, it depends. There's, there's, no dis- there's no disclaimer of like, oh, this is there? Be yeah, I don't know. It's like those, uh, yeah. the show, I can't remember the people who are addicted to weird shit. Like, there was one My girl, Strange Addiction. Oh, yeah, yeah, my, my Strange, strange addiction, addiction or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my brain Sounds is like full this, filled with this <laughs> BPS shows. So I'm like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, people in the US come up with like all sorts of like, these weird I know but I, I like I, I watch a little bit of the one where it's like like leaving the Amish community or something uh-huh. like there's like these people who are like raised in like uh, as Amish people who are very insular and no technology and blah blah and it's kind of like the idea of them like leaving the community and like learning it's like you know how yeah. does a toilet work that kind of thing mm-hmm. <laughs> I learned that no, it's all fake. Like, these people have been <laughs> outside. Yeah, they were living normal for a while. We do take it to their social media and oh. watch show. I'm like, aw. <laughs> no, nothing's real. Joke. Like Amish people are just mm-hmm. acoustic humans. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one. Yeah. Unplugged. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah. Cool. Well, I'm slowly transitioning back to real life. Uh huh. So we'll see how how zen I can stay. <laughs> All right. Well, <sighs> real life hasn't stopped for the rest of us. I know. Yeah. So privileged. I. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, if anyone is like wants to promote their business on this show of a yeah, very limited sure. audience of people who probably already know you, <laughs> please let us know. We're happy to do it. <laughs> Mostly, I feel like you know it's not even about the money, right? I genuinely want to like support our friends, other businesses, yeah, like that's true. right, like we we really want to promote it, and I'm curious about how how these businesses work, right? It's like I would not not know how to start a bakery equipment business from scratch, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you get into it, and like what um what are the challenges of running such a business Elvin, besides having competitor with the same show. name as you? <laughs> we'll invite yeah. You. Yeah, you can I, I want to know to the world about Mooney machinery. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that is good content to me. Yeah, it is. I mean. Yeah. All mm-hmm. right. <laughs> well, okay. I guess we can call it well, a night. All right. Um, no questions from the viewers. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to another episode yeah. of Evening Drama. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Bye, world. Bye. Ciao.